Hello, I'll show you a video about one of 300 HP DC motors that we did for a rolling mill machine. Uh, we did a, a major rewinding work for it. That's what this video would be about. Okay, so this is a continuation of the 300 HP uh, DC motor. We found that uh, the armature uh, had uh, faulty windings. So we went ahead and then continued uh, uh, with the addition of saying that let's uh, uh, rewind the entire uh, rotor windings. So, so far we have disbanded all the windings that you could see. From the slots they have been removed and the commutator has been cleaned up in the sense uh, commutator is going through, uh, will go through some more uh, repair uh, to make sure the segments are very cleaned up. So right now you can see that uh, this rotor has around, uh, sorry it has got 37 slots. Uh, and then these are the burnt coils. So you would see these are the burnt coils. Diamond shape. So it's a wave winding. Each slot has got six conductors. So the pitch of the coil is 1 to 10. And then the commutator pitch is 1 to 56. The total number of segments that you would see in the commutator is 111. Uh, so you could see you could divide by 2. And then which is a wave winding, typical to a wave winding. And you can see the conductors have become brittle. So all the conductors are, you can see the insulation is gone. And that's what is proving that whatever we saw in the in the rotor uh, behavior, motor behavior, right? Where it was not taking the load. So most of the conductors you could see here, they are all being thrown there. And then they are all uh, brittle. So uh, our suspicion of uh, rotor damage is almost true. And then uh, the next step is to wait for the conductors. And then we proceed with the uh, armature winding. So the conductor size is uh, conductor size is three point five point one into three point four five. Three point four five. Totally, each coil is around. Uh, each coil is one kg. One kg three hundred grams. One kg three hundred grams. Totally, we need around uh, fifty kg. Fifty. Approximately fifty kg of uh, uh, copper. Thirty seven sets, sir. 37, 37 sets. sets. 37 sets. And each conductor or each slot has got 37, uh, 12 conductors. From this point on, uh, we. Yeah. So, coil preparation, the slots are all cleaned up. And you see the slots are very clean now. The commutator segments are cleaned up and it's been tested. So, all the segments are passed through the testing. They're fine. So, one of the sample coils is already placed. Place. So it's a pitch of 1 to 10. So the armature is ready for winding. And the conductors are bent. They are being taped right now. Sir, commutator pitch, na. Sir, commutator pitch, na. Commutator pitch. Commutator pitch. One two. One two ten. Slot pitch. So, listen to our commutator pitch. So, we'll we'll see when you're placing the conductor. Shaping is the main part, and then binding the conductors, and then placing them on the conductor is the next part. So. By tomorrow, we start the main windings. Once we have uh, the coils already, the next step is to just place the conductors in the slots and make sure the shape is comfortable. And then we have the, uh, the end connections placed inside the commutator. 56. 56. So the commutator pitch is 1 to 56. It's come up pretty well so far. So probably by tomorrow, end, we should be able to finish the uh, in the slots. Thanks. Yeah. So yesterday we finished preparing the coils. So today we have started to place them into the slot. Slotting session is going on. So mm, I don't almost the first set of coils have been placed. So, 
We had to clean the slots. Once the slots were clear, uh, we insulated the slots with F gloss insulations, and then we had to get the copper strips as per the original specifications, pin them. initial load test within our company with the facility that we had uh, one of the expectations from the client is they want to do a proper testing before the entire machine is dispatched to their unit so they got in their drivers to our company they did a small test of 30 amperes with their drive which you could see that's in the video on the back of it we were loading the motor with uh, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, pumping machine so that's what you could see there in the video at the end of it, we installed, we dispatched the machine to the client side where it was installed and tested to the full load. That's the reading that you're seeing, which has been too close to 300 to 900, uh, sorry, 300 to 400 amperes of load was what's uh, tested with. After all this testing, uh, the entire uh, motor was accepted by the client and they seem to be really happy with the work that we had done for them. And uh, everything seemed to be fine after that. Uh, of course, uh, a week of testing was done basically to uh, measure the parameters of of the motor such as temperature, current, or field current, all those things to ensure that it's really working fine the way it's expected to. So that's the one of the other work that we are doing and then thanks for listening to me.